Hey, what's up everyone out there? Thanks so much for tuning in to another Addicted Fishing tutorial. Today what we're doing is something a little different. We get a lot of requests from all you guys out there wanting to know what we carry in our bags. So what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna show you what I basically consider the ultimate trout fishing bag. I've got every little thing I need in here to hopefully get out on the lake or the river or the creek and catch trout. So we're just gonna break it down today, show you every little thing that's in my bag. So if that's something you're interested in, then stick with us here. But before we do all that, if you're brand new to the channel, we're Addicted Fishing and we like to educate entertain and inspire so you're gonna find a lot of educational content where we're teaching you how to get out there and catch fish yourself but you're also gonna find a lot of entertaining stuff where we could be all over the world just bringing you guys along on our journey so if you love fishing tap that subscribe button now coming up next we're gonna show you what's in this bag First off, I, I switched to these little boat bags a while ago. I like them, they have this shoulder strap. Mustad makes these. There's a bunch of companies that make these, but I like these just little shoulder bags. I can fit a lot of gear in them, but not have it be too overkill. So I usually stick to this for all my trout fishing gear. And then what I've done is I've clipped one of our addicted bait towels on the side of there, because you never know when you're gonna need it to like wipe the grubbiness off of your hands. So let's zip this little guy open here. Oh, this bag also has this little strap too if you want to just carry it without the shoulder strap another little little handle here but let's zip this guy open and see what we got in here all right let's dive in boys and girls let's go in here first got some trout magnet floats those always come in handy couple packs of berkeley trout worms I got them in the let's see what color is this one the pink shad and then just the straight-up natural night crawler deadly for trout deadly uh, let's see what do we got here we got some gulp pinched night crawlers some of this stuff like I just may have bought when I was at the store just on a binge purchase buying buying a bunch of random things so some of these things I don't even know that I have uh, let's see what we got. A couple different colors of the Berkeley Mouse Tails. Can't go wrong with these. These work really, really good. And then we got a stringer. So you can keep your catch. Some more Berkeley Trout Worms. We got a Castmaster in there, unopened. Let's see what else here. I got the Mini Trout Magnet Kit. The super mini, so that's the ones that go down to the really, really small size 14 hooks. Good little kit. And then, let's see here. Some little corkies from Wardens. These are good for floating your night crawlers or floating your stuff up off the bottom. So I got a few different colors of those. Or if I'm gonna do any bottom bouncing or drift fishing for trout, I'll use those as well. Um, I got some inline trolling or just some trolling spinners here from Kokobo. Kokobo Tackle out of Idaho. They make some really quality high-end spinners, so I got a few of those kicking around in there. And then just some random eight-pound fluoro. A couple dodgers. And a lot of this stuff is gonna be for boats and for bank, so I kinda keep my bags the same. Got some random must-add addicted floats. Got some more little corkies in the watermelon color. And then I got a few other just random floats. The old trusty red and whites. I got one of the fill weighted kind of panfish floats. And that's what's in that top little zipper back pouch. So we're gonna throw all that back in there. Okay? load her back in zip that guy closed oh now I'm gonna I'm gonna sit my old my old butt down here pull the rest of this stuff out of here just start one box at a time some of this is gonna be random what do we got in here we got some Thomas buoyant lure spoons got a few different cast masters some spinners we got a joint or a sinking countdown Rapala, a couple rooster tails, a couple random spoons, a little rust on that one, a little character. And then I got so just some random like bugs. 
some little plastic bugs, maybe fish with the water bobbers or whatnot. A few different variations of cast masters. What are these guys? Needlefish, some needlefish. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right, the old needle. So that's box number one. The addicted sticker on there. Let's see what else we got here. Another little random box. Let's see what we got in here. We got some duo snaps. We got some split rings, some split shot, a water bobber, some trout magnets, some stretchy thread, and this is basically used for keeping your bait on the hook. A few little flies in here, just random flies. Couple trout tubes. These can be really, really effective on some days. And then just some random barrel swivels some snap barrel swivels. So just kind of a little rando box, a little overall random. And then it looks like we got some more spinners and spoons here. Got some blue fox, some blue fox spinners in there, some rooster tails, some really small size one blue fox. Looks like we got a couple small spinning glows. We got, what is this? Another spoon it looks like. Just some random weight in there. You know, sometimes my boxes get a little random. Looks like there's some piece of lead in there and Dave's Tangle Free. Then I got some surgical tubing and some O-rings for the addicted floats. So again, just, an, just another overall somewhat of a spinner box, but a little random. And then, boom, we got some more floating Rapalas, some inline float weights, some egg weights. Castmaster, the old Bumblebee Panther Martin, cannot go wrong with that guy. So again, just an overall random box, not, not much to it. And then again, looks like we got some more random in here. We got just a Castmaster, a bigger spinner, looks like a steelhead spinner, R&B. That needs to go in my steelhead box, that's out of place, boys, boys and girls. Some bigger, some bigger blue foxes in there. And then we got some of the Mad River trout worms, a couple jig heads. Overall, the whole consensus of my bag right now is just random, Sean. And all you people out there watching. You guys don't know who Sean is. I'm not, I'm not like talking to myself or talking to some random person. I'm talking to Sean, the guy behind the camera. Oh, and then we got another 152 piece trout magnet kit. This thing's freaking loaded with the juice. Those things are deadly, and then they come with uh, come with jig heads, gold and silver jig heads. Little floats in there. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're running out of daylight. We better start burning through some of this stuff. This bag right here is just my overall like scent, power bait, gold magnets. Let's just pull a few things out of here so you guys can see what's in here. Some Berkeley Power Eggs. Some more Berkeley Power Eggs. We got some Mad River Steelhead Eggs. Addicted baby. What else do we got in here? We got some of the Procure Badass Salmon Eggs. Some of the Berkeley Gulp Maggots. These things sometimes are deadly. Tip your spinners with them, guys. Mm, we got some of the Procure Garlic Bait Wax. If you didn't know, trout key into garlic big time. They love garlic. Trout love garlic. We got some of the Procure Bait Butter. This is just some little scent stuff. Dip your jig heads in it or whatever. You can see I haven't used that much of it. And then just another, just a bunch of random variations of scents. We got some of the scent spray, the Trophy Trout from Rooster Tail. Looks like that's all that's basically in here. Just a bunch of random scents, some more garlic. As you can see, you're gonna see a, a theme when it comes to garlic. Oh, it looks like I got some power bait in there as well. Yeah, a whole bunch of, ooh, what's this guy actually? Ooh, worm blower. Blow some air into your worms, keep those things floating off the bottom. So that's that bag. Got a good selection of weight here. This is Dave's Tangle Free. Nice good selection of all different sizes. 
I love Dave's Tangle Free. I'll have a link down below of his weights. Got the Mustad Trout Pack, which looks like I'm getting kind of low on a lot of the sizes. So I need to restock that, but this is a good little kit you can buy. It's just gonna have a good variation of hooks. Got some more floral carbon there, some 12 pound, some six pound fluoro, some trout marshmallows. And guess what they smell like? Ugh, garlic. What else we got in here? Oh, another little hook pack, a bunch of just random hooks. And then got some pliers here from Gerber. Put those back in their little handy holder. Got the little Gerber Cross River. I use that for when I'm filleting my trout. I'll take this and I'll put it on the, put it in the skin of the trout to hold the skin down and then pull that all away there if you're trying to make it skinless. Works really well. Gerber Cross River. Little six inch Gerber fillet knife. You can see it's got it's got lots of use. Gerber scissors. Greatest, greatest, greatest scissors on the planet. What else do we got in here? Oh, it looks like we got another fillet knife, but this is the saltwater one. Stainless, doesn't rust on you. What else do we got in here? We got a stringer, another stringer here. We got some soap. This is some of that soap from Procure that's like a, um, you don't need water to use it. So you can just spray it on your hands, kind of like a hand sanitizer, but also a soap. Works really, really well. And then, another pair of Gerber scissors. Can't go wrong. Another Cross River, but the saltwater one. Let's see here. Oh, and then I got a trolling setup. If I want to get some get some extra shine out there when I'm trolling in my boat, I can run that guy. And that's it, addicts. That is that is it for the trout bag. But as you can see, I got a lot of variation. I carry a lot of stuff in my bag, a lot of different things. But I want you guys to drop a comment below. What am I missing? What don't I have in my trout bag that I need to add to this thing to help me catch more fish on the river? Drop some comments below, and if you like this video, and if you want to see more of these gear bags or these gear videos where we bring you into our steelhead bag or our salmon setups, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, smash that thumbs up button, and don't forget to tap subscribe if you're new to the channel. And thanks again for tuning in. We'll see you on the river.